In this video, we'll create a simple real-time multi-platform chat application in RAD Studio using DevArt SecureBridge component called TSC Hub Connection, which implements the functionality of a SignalR client. SignalR is a client-server communication protocol that adds real-time functionality to desktop and web apps. The server will be able to push content to connected clients as soon as it becomes available without waiting for the client to request data. SignalR client have been implemented in many languages, but the Delphi community lacked such a library, so we at DevArt decided to implement a SignalR client in SecureBridge, a security component library for Delphi. Besides SecureBridge, DevArt offers a wide range of software solutions, such as reliable Delphi data access components for popular databases and cloud sources, and advanced Delphi ORM tool Entity DAC. For all conference attendees, we offer a 20% off Delphi Data Access Components, Entity DAC, or SecureBridge purchase. To claim the offer, enter the CodeRage19 coupon code on the product ordering page. Let's start by creating a new multi device application. Our form will have a few panels, one at the top and one at the bottom. We'll also add a T Memo component which is our main chat area where messages are displayed. Now add a T-splitter component to the form, which will allow us to resize the panels at runtime. Add a T-list box to display a list of users to chat with. Add T-label components for the username and message fields. Add a T-edit component that will contain the name of the user that we're currently chatting with. Next, add a T-edit component that will hold our username. Add another T-Edit component where we'll type our message. Add a button that connects to the server and a button for sending our message. Place the TSC Hub Connection component on the form. Let's switch to the unit view and declare public methods do message receipt, do user connected, and do user disconnected for receiving messages, establishing a connection, and dropping the connection to the server. We'll also declare private methods, fill user name list, fill message list, connect, disconnect, and is connected, which are explained further. Add system.json to the uses clause, since we're going to use JSON to send and receive messages from the server. Implement the fill user name list method that parses a JSON array received from the server and updates the list of connected users in the tList box component on the form. Now let's write code for the fill list method. It parses a JSON array and updates the list of messages in the T memo component. In the do user connected event handler, we invoke the fill user name list and fill message list methods. The do message receipt event handler displays new messages in the chat area. The do user disconnected event handler invokes the fill user name list method to update the list of connected users when we disconnect from the server. The connect method invokes the start, register, and send methods of the TSC hub connection component. The start method establishes a connection to the server. The register method registers a handler that will be invoked when the hub method with the specified method name is invoked. And the send method invokes a hub method on the server using the specified method name and arguments. The text property of the BT Connect button changes to disconnect after the connection has been successfully established. The disconnect method invokes the send and stop methods of SecureBridge. The stop method drops the connection to the server. The text value of the BT Connect button is changed to connect and the username list is cleared. The isConnected method stores the state of the connection to the server. Implement the onDestroy event handler that drops an active connection to the server before destroying the form when we close our application.
Now let's implement the BT Connect click event handler that is triggered when we click the button. It checks whether the client is connected to the server. If the isConnect function returns true, the client drops the connection to the server by executing the disconnect method. In case of false, the event handler triggers the execution of the connect method to establish a connection to the server. Also, it checks whether we've specified our username in the nickname field. Finally, assign the server address to the URL property of the TSC Hub connection component on the form. Now let's run our app on various platforms and see how it works. SecureBridge also offers Delphi clients and servers for SSH, SSL, HTTP, HTTPS, WebSocket, and other protocols. Visit the DevArt site for more details on SecureBridge and other Delphi component libraries. Mm -hmm.